Welcome to the Parenting Roundabout Speed Round, where we answer a quick question every day to keep our group chat fun going all week long. Now, my daughter has a closet full of American Girl dolls because I am not giving those away. <laughs> those are so expensive. They're almost like an investment. Yeah. Um, so we have a few odds and ends that uh, we've kept from our kids' early years that uh, are either, they are either... Uh, full of memories or there's some story behind them or I just kind of feel like they'd be cool to keep for (laughs) maybe my future grandchildren (laughs) yeah or they cost a lot of money it's like we're keeping this yeah (laughs) and I'm gonna make you play with it (laughs) even when you're 25 exactly (laughs) you wanted that dollhouse play with it (laughs) yeah you're, yeah, with your high school doll, friends. I mean, the doll bed is the cost of a real bed. So, I mean, yeah. like, who's going to give that away? <laughs> so, um, our question today is, did you save any of your kids' toys after they outgrew them for either financial reasons or otherwise? <laughs> or sentimental reasons. <laughs> Catherine? Yeah, we, like you, I have a box full of American Girl um, dolls and clothes and accessories that that yeah. is being saved because I can't throw th- <laughs> I can't seem to get rid of that. I mean, if I had like a little girl that I was close to that really wanted them, yeah. I would probably give them. But um, we and the funny thing is that two of our American Girl babies, um, my mother in law actually bought at a rummage sale. So oh wow, wow. that never happens. But she <laughs> found them, and there was wow. a boy and a girl, and they were blonde they were the little twins and so she gave them to my two kids who were at the time pretty blonde and uh and my son loved having a boy doll he called it his american boy he loved it he played with it he played with it he dressed it he took it places so yeah we're saving those and i don't think we'll get rid of legos either because Uh expensive and yeah i mean at 12 he still plays with them anyway Right. my mom has Legos from when my brother was little. And so still, you know, when my son goes to my parents' house, he plays with those vintage Legos. So nice. Yes. Yeah. Very so yeah, cool. we have, we're, I, I try to be, I, I try to be strong about getting rid of stuff, but, um, <laughs> but there are some things that, yeah, we'll save. Yeah. Wow. Terry had Legos for a long time, but I don't know where they are they must have like gotten just gone away in a purge somewhere along the line. Right. But I don't, I wouldn't say that I have saved any of my kids toys. I've saved a few of the expensive therapy items I bought for uh-huh. them. That therapy ball is going to be in our basement <laughs> until we move. <laughs> I don't care. We might need it. And, and the sack, what is that sack that they go in? The stretchy sack. Oh. Um, but toy-wise, my son has done the job of holding on to toys. He still has toys in his room that he has not touched in, I'd say, a decade or more. But he doesn't want to get rid of things. Mm-hmm. He's mm-hmm. taken on my pack rat <laughs> ways, I guess. Or it's just a not liking change thing. Mm-hmm. So all his old Matchbox cars, it would have tugged my heart to get rid of his Matchbox cars because for a long time, that was a big deal. His Matchbox and Hot Wheels, he had a, one of those rugs with roads on it oh, and he would man. line up cars on it. You know, he did some of yeah. the lining up of cars. That's a big thing for kids with developmental disabilities. And he just, he was really, really into the cars. And they're still there in a big old bin in his room. And every now and then I suggest, you know, do you want to get rid of those? Oh, yeah, tomorrow we'll look at it. Tomorrow tomorrow never comes. So he has a ton of toys in his room that he no longer plays with, but he has not gotten rid of it. So I don't have to have that that heart-tugging moment. (laughs) I can just just go in there and look at them anytime I want. My mother-in-law saved... brush the dust aside. My mother-in-law saved all the... (laughs) the match boxes um yeah. from when yeah. my husband and his brother were little and so eventually <sighs> those came to live with us 
So, yeah. yeah. He has yeah. an enormous bin full of them. He had a ton. We used to, That used to be our thing to do would be we would go to Toys R Us and he would take an hour pouring over the racks to pick a new one and I would sit and read a book and it was like an hour's entertainment for 99 cents. It was the <laughs> best deal. Best deal ever. Whenever I hear of Toys R Us possibly going out of business, I think, you sustained me for so many years. <laughs> what I have done. But, um, yeah. But I actually still have a toy from my not childhood but youth sitting right here by my desk i will send y'all a picture of it I'll, please do uh, it's it's a stuffed dog that my high school boyfriend gave to me <laughs> he was he let's see he was my puppy dog and i was his there was a stuffed animal that i gave him teddy bear i can't Aww. remember i think i i think I can't remember which of us was which but i had a stuffed puppy dog and i still have it not over any sentiment over that relationship, I don't think, just because it's cute. And is that that, <laughs> it's just, is that that hunky-looking boyfriend that you went to homecoming with that you sent us a picture Yes, yes. <laughs> that he kind of looked him. like a teddy bear. He was <laughs> extremely sweet, and I probably was not very nice to him. But uh, but I still have the stuffed animal, Larry, wherever you are. I still have the puppy dog. Aww. It just Aww. follows me around. It's dusty and dirty and has seen better days, but still there. So That's right pretty I can cool. see it. Yeah, it's adorable. Well, very sentimental and sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and so is this podcast. Yes. Um, that's it for today's speed round. Come back tomorrow for another motos. question and visit parentingroundabout.com for all our group chats and other weekly episodes.